What's the flow everybody? This is me, your digital drifter Danea, and this is my Davao 2019 adventure. I've actually visited Davao several times before and this is the first time I arrived in the evening. I had a late flight from Cebu at 7.30 p.m. and I arrived at the Davao airport at 8.30 p.m. via Cebu Pacific. This was a seat sale, so yay! And it, I arrived just now here in my accommodation and the time is um, just a little bit over 10 in the evening. So yeah, unfortunately today there was a typhoon so it was raining all afternoon here in Davao and there was flooding everywhere. So it took me an hour and a half to get from the airport to my accommodation because of all the traffic and all the flooding. It was kind of stressful to be honest but that's okay i'm here now i'm safe and i'm glad that i've checked into this accommodation so speaking of accommodation where I, am i staying right now it's called um it's a red doors plus property actually it's called red doors plus at poblacion district red doors is actually a company that lends their branding and their name and their technology to different hotels and hostels in major cities and it's sort of they are working in partnership with all those other properties so it's not uncommon to find other names for your red doors accommodation so for this one this um, hotel is also called la anclar hotel so it's in Poblacion District and I'm so happy that I've checked into here. By the way, this is not a sponsored video by Red Doors. It's just that I found myself checking into Red Doors properties a lot lately because they're good enough and they have reasonable prices, which is great for budget travelers like me. Anyway, um, I'm glad that I've checked into this place because it's just within walking distance of many important shops. Um, I actually haven't had my dinner yet. I ate a bit at the plane in the plane, um, but I'm still I still I need proper dinner. So there are several eating places around here which are just within walking distance. Also, a little bit about me. I actually suffer from GERD or G E R D or acid reflux or hyperacidity from time to time so i made the mistake of eating bread and drinking coffee on the plane because i thought i'm gonna you know i was hungry and i thought i was gonna work throughout the night so i that's why i drank coffee but this combination is not really good and now my GERD is starting to get worse and i really need some antacids so i'm just happy that there's a mercury drug store nearby here and it's also within walking distance and for food if um if you know for if i can't find a good eating place there's also 7-eleven just within walking distance from here which you know 7-eleven always saves me wherever i travel so that's good to have around here and yes that's what makes this accommodation a good place to check into so yeah if you're a budget traveler and uh, you want to save on your accommodation and you want something that's a good enough space for you then do check out red doors again this is not sponsored it's just that i've been using them and i can highly recommend them i don't think i've had a red doors property that i dislike so far Th again this room is basic it's as long as you know there's comfortable bed clean cr and strong internet then i'm a happy traveler that's all i really need let me give you a tour i got room 408 so here we are and they have this um, card key so which is great what you do is just scan and open and then insert the card light and this is their CR let me close that oh by the way I love when a property has this thing because I don't want them to make up their room sometimes because I'm a very late riser so I I am fond of putting this card here on the door a do not disturb card 
because then they don't have to clean my room during lunchtime or during the afternoon and not disturb me. Okay, so let's lock that. And there's the CR. It's, it's not it's not that big. There's no tub or anything. Again, this is a basic room, but it looks clean. And of course, I often like to have a hot shower in the evening. So it's always great to check into a property that has hot and cold shower. You know, as a solo traveler, I need my comfort sometimes. <laughs> and this is the room. I think for a solo traveler or a couple, it's big enough, it's good enough. And there's a bed. I like that red doors advocate for saving water. So basically, you don't have to have your towels washed daily to save water. That's fine with me. And there, there we go. This is the bed. And... The great thing about traveling solo people is that I get to have the two pillows to myself. I love cuddling with a pillow and if I'm uh, checked into a room with a single bed, often they don't provide extra pillows. So it's good to have extra pillow. <laughs> anyway, there's some bedside lamp here. My video is not picking up properly right now because of the low lighting. I'm not sure what's going on. But anyway. You can see that they have a, a chair here and some drawers and here is cabinet and you can see there are hangers of course and there's a safe yay for rooms with safes and there's TV although I'm not gonna use that at all so I have my laptop I've got a phone in case you want to call a reception and then, uh, what's in here? It's just the wires, so the outlets are there. So what will happen most likely is this desk will become my work desk for the next few days. I'll be staying here for uh, four nights. And then there's a mini fridge. Let's see if they've stocked it, although I'm not really expecting anything in major hotels they are fully stocked see there's nothing there so you can turn it on for your personal use yeah very basic room and then what's out here what's outside the drapes the windows then it's very dark so i'm not sure if you can see but uh, it's not there there's um there's a shop <laughs> It's like I'm actually facing the street side, so it's very dark because of the tinted window. But outside, there are several eating shops and again, 7-Eleven and Mercury Dog Store. So I'm going to go get out and buy all the needed stuff before everything closes. A few moments later. Back from 7-Eleven, got my supplies and got myself comfortable. Changed footwear, got myself set up, unpacked my bags, used the cabinet, turned on the light bedside light, got myself set up for work over here, got my supplies here, coffee, dinner, snacks, and I also got my fridge stacked. There's extra water, although the hotel actually has a water dispenser outside for refill, um, so that's good. I do have my water bottle here, but I decided to buy another water bottle because um, sometimes in the middle of the night, I just don't want to go out in the hallway with my pajamas to get some water. Anyway, there's ice cream there, a little treat for myself. It's cookies and cream, one of my favorite. They did have pistachio. And then I have more coffee here. Thankfully, they have this bottle. But I also wanted to drink some juice that has vitamin C in it. Hopefully, that is true. 
um, because I got rained on. Unfortunately, Mercury Drugstore has closed for the night, so I'll just manage my GERD as best as I can. And you can see here, unfortunately, there's a lot of plastic. Um, I haven't yet figured out how to be 100% plastic free for my travels, but I'm working on it. So I just put those plastic there from 7-Eleven so I can reuse them later and hopefully not buy any more plastic. Anyways, I got myself set up. Um, one thing I usually do when I travel it, and when I arrive at a new place and new accommodation is I open Spotify and play some music. This is my positive vibes playlist so it just helps me get accustomed to a new place i also tested their internet and the internet speed looks good download upload so of course overall internet in the philippines can be better but at least i have this here and i can get my work done so i'm just gonna finish unpacking and get some work done for a little bit and we'll sleep in a while I just want to say a little something about solo travel. It's not scary or uncomfortable as many people would have you believe. At least that's what I think. I actually enjoy solo travel, guys. And yeah, it's it's okay. It's not bad. And I get to spend time with myself and also just do what I want. Travel the way I want like follow my own time and not be affected by other schedules and worry about other people cramping my travel style although it's fun to travel with friends sometimes too but i also schedule solo trips um from time to time throughout the year otherwise i'll go insane anyway if you have questions about solo travel or things like that or davao in particular just hit me up in the comments below and thank you for watching this video. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and catch you on the next Digital Drift. This is Davao Day 1.